Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Active Webcast and in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to create a mail enable group in Exchange 2016. If your organization is like most organizations today, you make a significant use of a mail groups. You may refer to these as a mail enable group, distribution group or distribution list. The official term for a mail group though is mail enable group. A group that lives in Active Directory but is managed as a mail enable object from the Exchange Admin Center. All group utilized by Exchange Server 2016 must be set to the universal scope. This tells the Active Directory that the membership list attribute for that group should be replicated to the all global catalog server in the organization. In a simple word, we can say a mail enable group is an Active Directory group that has been tagged with all appropriate Exchange mail attributes including an email address. Once a group has been mail enabled, any external or internal user can send mail to the group. The group membership can then be modified to configure who receives emails that are sent to the group. We can use Exchange Admin Center or Exchange Management Shell to create a new distribution group in our Exchange organization. So for this demonstration, already I open Exchange Admin Center and already I log in as our administrator's credential and that's why we have a sufficient privilege to create a group in our Exchange organization. Let's click on a group step and right now we do not have any group in our Exchange organization. So let's create a one. Now if you click on a plus sign, you will see there are three options. First is a distribution group. It can be used only to distribute messages. Second, we have a security group that can be used to distribute messages as well as to grant access permission to resources in Active Directory. And the third, we have a dynamic distribution group. Right now, we are not going to discuss about the dynamic distribution group. In a future, we'll create a one separate video on dynamic distribution group. Right now, I'm going to create a new distribution group. Let's select distribution group. Now here, you can specify the display name of your distribution group. These names appears in your organization's address books. On the two line, when the email is sent to this group and the group list in an Exchange Admin Center. So let's specify the name HR users. The alias is used to generate an email address of the group. So let's specify the name HR users. Remember, you can't use a space over here. Here, you can specify the notes if you want to add any description over here, you can add over here. Then, let's specify the organization unit where we want to store this object. Click on browse and let's select our OU HR team. Click on OK. And let's scroll a little bit. Here, we have our options for owners. By default, the person who creates a group is the default owner. All groups must have at least one owner. You can add owner by clicking a plus sign and if you want to remove the existing owner, you can just click on the minus sign. That will remove the administrator as a group owner. Remember, group owner don't have to be the member of the group. Now let's again add our administrator. Okay, so administrator is a group owner. Now under member tab, you can use the sections to add members. Under members, as you can see, add group owner as a member. So I'm not going to select this. Let's uh, click on plus sign to add uh, members. Let's come back on our Active Directory. As you can see, under HR team, we have a two user, Jennifer Carter and Mark Anderson. So we want to add these two user in our distribution group. I select Jennifer Carter and Mark Anderson. Click on Add. Click on OK. And now, as you can see, our two users, Jennifer and Mark, are part of our distribution group. Now, here we have to specify whether owner approval is required to join the group or whether owner approval is required to leave the group. Now here, as you can see, the by default options is open. Anyone can join this group without being approved by the group owner. If you want to select close group, that time members can be added only by the group members. And I want to select this. So member can be added only by the group owner. All requests to join will be reject automatically. You can also specify owner approval. So whenever user send a request, that request will be approved or reject by the group owner. Now here we have options. Choose whether the group is open to leave or not. I'm selecting close so members can be removed only by the group owner all requests to leave will be rejected automatically so click on save to create the new distribution group name hr users okay and as you can see now we have a one group name hr users and the email address of our group is hr users and if we click on edit so this is general information about our group this is the display name, this is the alias and if you want to hide this group from our address list that time you can select this box. Now here about the ownership, if you want to add uh, any other group owner you can add it from plus sign and if you want to remove, you can remove it from here. This is about the membership, 
right now we have a two users as a member of this association group if you want to add another members you can simply use the plus sign this is about the membership approval whether or no approval is required to join the group or what about if user want to leave the group and and already we selected uh, close members can be added by only group owner and users cannot leave group so members can only remove by the group owner click on save let's come back on our active directory users and computers console and just refresh on the console now here we can see we have a group name hr users but if you see the type that is a distribution group and the universal group scope if we see the property of this group and if you click on our members we can see our user Jennifer and Mark both are the member of the distribution group name HR users. Let's come back on our Exchange Admin Center. Now once you send a mail to this HR users email address, that mail will be delivered to both users Jennifer Carter and Mark Anderson because the both users are the member of this group. So this is the way how we can create a distribution group in Exchange 2016. That's it for this video demonstration. Thanks for watching this video.